is version of by finally optimized for android and low end devices because a lot of big youtubers are claiming that version mobile has finally fixed the optimization issue and now everybody should be able to play version mobile with good fps and without frame drops or heat issues something like that so in this video we are going to do a comparison between the global launch gameplay and today's gameplay and we are going to see if they made any improvements or not before starting the video just want to make sure one thing that the device which i used for global launch gameplay was infinix no 30 pro and the device which i am going to use today is techno camon 30 they both are different devices but they both have helio g99 processor and they have the same graphics so it doesn't matter a lot if i am using a different device but they are they have almost the same specs so it doesn't matter only you can see only the name is different so now let's start the video first of all have a look on the gameplay from the global launch this gameplay is from 15 march on the day of global launch so let's have a look so i i was almost getting 30 fps but it was above 30 like 38 36 sometimes it was dropping to 26 or something like that but my average fps was 30 and i was even getting above 30 as well so as you can see 31 41 something like that it was getting up and low between 30 to 40 and it only frame dropped a lot when there are uh, when there were a lot of enemies or when my device was hitting so you can say that the average fps which i was getting on the global launch was 30 fps the graphics are a little barely because at that time i didn't download that streaming and all that stuff but the frame rates are still high you can see i am getting 37 40 fps something like that so it's pretty good it's pretty decent and it, at, the, at the time of global launch it was kind of okay like it was kind of playable so now let's see if we are going to get like for around 45 fps today because they have made a lot of updates big updates small updates optimization and all that stuff they had almost four months to make some improvements and we are going to see if they made any improvements or not so now let's have a look on the gameplay from today so in the lobby i was getting constant 30 fps i think they have kept the fps for lobby uh, at 30. so the graphics which i am going to use are very low very low and the F, uh, fps on uncapped are high and fov will be around 90 because i don't want to increase it a lot it will uh, decrease the frame rate because at global launch we only had like 90 90 fov now let's see the gameplay and let's see how much fps we are going to get so in the plane i am almost getting 26 fps 22 fps which is a lot less of what i was getting on the global launch 21 27 okay it's around 30 again but it's not getting above 30 like last time we were getting around 35 38 even sometimes we were touching 40 fps but uh, today we are only getting like 24 27 fps which is very less as compared to global launch i don't know i think i thought that we will get like above 40 fps but it's even bad from the global launch let's land and let's see if we will see any improvements in the fps or not we are still getting below 30 fps we are not even touching 30 so it's it's pretty bad if you ask me the graphics looks a little bit better than global launch as you can see it's a lot less blurrier but the fps are capped at 30 and they are getting less than 30 not above so i think they have capped the fps for my device at 30 but uh, they are not even giving constant 30 fps it's like 29 28 and as soon as i move a lot it drops to 24 25 26 i don't know if it's improvement or they just don't get the game even more or maybe they, because they improved the graphics a little bit that's why we are getting less fps but i think their focus should be on giving us more fps as compared to graphics because if we are getting like 20 30 fps we don't want to play on high graphics right even though my visual quality and everything is on low i'm still getting 30 fps so i am not going to make any decision you guys decide in the comment section is this an improvement or not or did you see any improvements for your devices if you've been playing for three months or if you uh, played on global launch you can just try now and tell me if you see any improvements or not but for me i think it's almost the same or even worse than global launch so that's it for this video thanks for watching bye bye